Okay, I'm going to tape the hose so that I know where it is when I'm pulling it back. Um, we can do it two ways. We can do it with, with electrical tape or we can get a different colored hose to go on the front end. Um, the problem with putting a different colored hose on this quarter inch hose, there'd be a connection which may get in the way. So I'm going to put one tape at like a foot and then two two rolls at about three feet. So I kind of know where I am when I'm pulling it back. I don't want to pull the nozzle out while it's under pressure. So this is what we go through in some of the training with your guys because safety is the key to it all. Now, you'll notice I'm wearing a protective vest. This will uh, stop a straight jet at 3000 PSI or a rotary jet at 7500 PSI. Same with the gloves. Again, they're jet proof. And the hard hand face mask, this is rated for 40,000 PSI. So this is some of the safety gear you probably want to consider getting. So the first job we're going to do is going to run this quarter inch hose off this 4,000 PSI 18 gallon minute unit just to see if we can get through with the, with the small hose. You can see the pipe I've set up. It's got the uh, synthetic grease in there, which is lard. Um, it's got all sorts of bits of jagged metal in there. So I'm going to try and weasel my way through with this nozzle to begin with. This is a little ball jet, a little tiny little, little jet got one forward and kind of six rear nozzles. So we're going to put this on first just to see if we can weasel our way through the material and start to get it moving.
So we've got glue to the other side, and that's a bit of metal tubing we got out. Okay. Um, I'm going to put that in there. This is some of the other material that's. Uh, there's all sorts of metal pieces in here. So we know we can move the grease. So now we've got to see if we can get the big stuff out by putting the half inch hose on. So we've, we've worked our way through with the small hose. Now we're going to put the big hose on and a bigger nozzle. This is a RPD nozzle slightly bigger uh, and more power on the half inch hose and again I've marked the hose so I know where it is. So we're going to put that in and fire it up and see what we can do. Okay.
But as you can see, that was no easy task, but we finally got through and uh, yep, it's a completely clean pipe. If you'd like to uh, take a look, have a look inside. Uh, and Nick, hold this for me. Got it. Okay, so we've got the material out of the pipe. You can see the grease. Now, obviously, it's going to be hard on the operators to hold onto the hose when it's covered in this uh, in this grease. Okay, and that's what happens to the nozzle. Now, we don't know exactly what you're going to have in your. Well, we know roughly, but these are bits of metal. That's a bit of square tubing, probably two inches round. Um, metal strapping to simulate the cage. I had a bolt in there, uh, some expanded metal just bent in half, more material, uh, more square tubing, another big lump, and this was the, uh, again to simulate the the uh, cage. This is a bit of uh, steel that I bent over to make a catch on stuff. There's all sorts of nasty small metal pieces. More cut bits of steel. More tubing. Um, an L-shaped piece of something. I can't nasty jagged pieces okay all trying to make it as difficult as possible more strapping don't know what this is another piece of flat bar just more bits and pieces some stuck in the oh these are bearings i throw these small bearings in okay so there are three bearings and uh, probably a bit left in here yeah there's all sorts of nasty pieces in there so that gives you a pretty good idea of uh, what we're up against so this is a another nozzle that I'm going to try now this is a, a controlled rotation rotary head so this will spin round and we're trying to clean the whole of the pipe out and it's got a flexible joint on the back of it all right so hopefully it'll get past things in your pipe or your race compared to ours is now nice and clean.